Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Safety on the U.S. Navy aircraft carriers is a top priority. These gigantic ships carry hazardous materials such as fuel and weaponry, so every effort must be made to ensure the safety of the vessels and the personnel on board. To do this, the Navy has strict safety rules and policies that everyone must follow. One of the key parts of keeping these ships safe is regular maintenance and fire drills. The crew often drills to know exactly how to respond to all situations. This training is vital to reducing the number of such incidents and providing a safety net for the crew in cases of unusual occurrences. This is a great part of why the Navy is efficient and effective in recovering its personnel from perilous situations at sea. Moving from the generic safety protocols on U.S. Navy vessels, let us focus on a cutting-edge innovation designed to enhance onboard safety through technological advancement. The Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot, or SAFER, has been developed with the support of the Office of Naval Research. This bipedal humanoid robot is meant to take an improved position in damage control and firefighting operations aboard naval vessels. This initiative is part of ONR's broader commitment to integrating unmanned systems into managing sailors' high-priority duties like damage control and inspections. SAFER is a huge leap in robotics technology. This robot is capable of walking on uneven terrain, opening and closing doors, passing hoses, and using thermal imaging to identify overheated equipment, as demonstrated on the USS Shadwell, a decommissioned Navy vessel. It has a complex design with highly sensitive infrared stereo vision and LIDAR sensors, enabling it to handle different types of environments, such as operating through dense smoke. This makes it an ideal vessel for carrying out hazardous jobs aboard a ship without risking a sailor's life. Exploring beyond humanoid robots, the U.S. Navy also utilizes drones and smaller robots to enhance operational safety and efficiency aboard naval vessels. These drones are equipped with thermal imaging equipment and high-definition cameras that serve to find overheated components and assess fire hazards. In the same way, small robots are contributing immensely to inspecting various parts of the ship and conducting repairs to help provide the ship's longer maintenance and availability for the fleet. A recent exhibition of such technological advancements and innovations was the Repair Technology Exercise, or REPTEX, held at the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Port Wyneme Division. This event showcased a broad spectrum of robotic technologies, including drones and small robots, which are essential for real-time maintenance and damage control on naval ships.
Reptex provided a platform for over 60 technology companies and academic laboratories to test and validate their innovations in a controlled environment, simulating real-world fleet maintenance challenges. Pennsylvania State University and its Applied Research Lab had an autonomous submersible vehicle that inspected ship hulls. Gecko Robotics demonstrated robots that could detect corrosion on ship decks, showing advanced inspection capabilities. Robots are of great help not only in ship maintenance, but also in aviation. For instance, these machines, such as robotic sprayers and cleaners, are increasingly used for washing and de-icing aircraft, tasks that are usually labor-intensive and time-consuming when done manually. For instance, MSG Aviation has developed a large-scale robot that performs de-icing and washing of aircraft at Oslo Airport with efficiency, economy, and environmental friendliness as its cornerstone. Likewise, the Nordic Dino System is a mobile, semi-automatic robot used in many airports for dry and wet washing aircraft exteriors. This system greatly reduces the amount of water and manual labor required for aircraft washing, while having water usage and significantly shortening the operation time compared with traditional wash-dry methods. Furthermore, Robots such as any advanced MSG multi-solution gate not only wash or de-ice aircraft, but also flush engines, an important principle for the basic efficiency and lifetime of these engines. These systems allow a reduction in human presence, hence saving resources and improving the general aircraft maintenance operational efficiency. In the domain of U.S. Air Force fighter aircraft maintenance, robotic systems aren't merely simple cleaning robots. They are also involved in much more elaborate functions like painting and depainting an aircraft. Aerobotics, based in Madison, Alabama, has had major advancements with this painting technology, which enables the robotic painting of the inlet of jet aircraft engines. Setting down human labor from 1,600 hours to a mere 300 hours provides an efficient turnaround for jet aircraft returning to service. This cut not only saves time during the maintenance, but also reduces costs significantly, amounting to savings in the neighborhood of 15 million for the Air Force. Economic benefits, therefore, not to be overlooked. The introduction of this robotic painting system allows for high precision applications by means of recovering the waste of expensive materials employed for the upkeep of stealth fighter jets. These high value coatings go from around $1,000 a gallon to a far less pronounced consumption of paint per aircraft, with consequent savings of some $40,000. It must be made particularly relevant in terms of special requirements and the costs of maintaining stealth capabilities. Which entail specialized paints in these operations to sustain their radar absorbing properties. At Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia, the first use of a robot for paint stripping aircraft using lasers marks another step forward.
It is greatly improved by virtue of being not chemical, keeping the air fresher with a proprietary filter which traps fumes of disturbing particles. The robot, developed with the help of experts from Carnegie Mellon University and Concurrent Technologies Corporation, is faster and cleaner than old methods, like using chemicals or sanding by hand. This robotic system uses advanced technology to scan the aircraft's surface and plan the best way to remove the paint quickly and safely. Robots are changing how the military operates, making them safer and more efficient. For example, during a major military exercise in Hawaii, the Marine Corps presented a reconnaissance robot called Mars. This is not merely a battle robot, but a machine gun operated remotely that helps in combat without endangering its operator and can be used for a variety of applications, such as intelligence sourcing and area awareness, without the immediate presence of a soldier. Letting robots train for human roles is a knowledge skill and accomplishes active target training. Moving around like targets, they allow soldiers to practice firing in a simulated combat scenario. This type of training will help soldiers develop their reaction and shoot accurately in move and change situations. Altogether, such robots help the military do its job better while increasing soldier safety. In the realm of modern aerial warfare, the integration of autonomous systems is revolutionizing strategies and tactics. Among these technologies, kamikaze drones, also known as loitering munitions, stand out for their unique ability to act both as surveillance platforms and precision-guided weapons. These drones can loiter over a target area for extended periods and engage targets on command, effectively becoming flying bombs. Additionally, as the use of drones has increased, so effective drone interception techniques are needed. Various methods are employed to neutralize potentially hostile drones, including electronic warfare tactics to disrupt their communication, physical net capture systems, and even counter drones equipped with capture mechanisms or weapons. These technologies are crucial for defending against drone swarms or individual drones that might pose threats to sensitive areas or military units. Together, these advanced systems demonstrate the evolving landscape of warfare, where technology like autonomous drones and countermeasures play critical roles in both offensive and defensive operations. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.